Hi Pony Friends, I'm Jessica with Savory Experiments and today we are making homemade Jiffy Cornbread Mix. Yep, I know exactly what you're thinking. Why in the world would you make some when it's 50 cents to a dollar to buy a box? Well, this is my emergency recipe. This is when it's all sold out at the grocery store because it's Thanksgiving or I forgot to buy a box. But before we get started, make sure you subscribe, like, and comment. You know I love to hear from you. I am a real person back here and I will respond. Let's get started. First, we're gonna start with our cornmeal because that really is the base of any of these recipes, right, for, for corn muffins. But you have to make a decision of what type of cornmeal you want. Do you want something that's grainy and has a larger grind to it, might be a little bit grittier when you make it, or something that is a little more fine, more like a flour or a meal. So this just depends on your personal preference. Either one can be used and it varies by brand. So House of Autry has more of a fine texture like a flour versus, which one is this one? Uh, just Quaker. This one's a little, ooh, little bit coarser, making music. I am going to use the coarser one. I'm gonna turn these into some muffins and I like them to have a little bit of texture. This is a half a cup of that cornmeal. The base of this is also flour. So it's a misconception that because this is corn muffins and corn mix that it is gluten-free. It is not naturally gluten-free. It can be gluten-free if you want it to be, if you use a gluten-free flour, just a one-to-one -one ratio mix. And we are going to do two thirds cup flour. I'm doing what I tell everybody not to do, and that's to scoop. So I'm doing it very lightly and very kindly. Don't tell anybody. Okay, next is sugar. Sugar helps balance it all out and caramelizes all of that corn while it's baking, regardless of what you're gonna put it in. Three tablespoons of sugar, an entire tablespoon of baking powder. This is gonna help your baked good rise. And one fourth teaspoon of coarse kosher salt. Now all you gotta do is whisk it together. So one of the funny things about this recipe and the comment that I get most frequently is, it's such a small amount. Well, foodie friends, the box is such a small amount. This box only makes six muffins, only six muffins. So if you want 12 muffins, you're gonna need two boxes. Feel free to double this recipe. Feel free to use it in any recipe that calls for a box of Jiffy corn mix. You can make it in bulk, store it in an airtight container in your pantry and use it whenever you need it. So there you go. In a pinch, in a jiffy, if you will, you can make your own Jiffy cornbread mix. Turn this into muffins using, let's see here, one egg and one third cup milk in a 400 degree oven, six muffins, two thirds full, 15 to 20 minutes, and there you go. From my kitchen to yours, I hope I saved the day with this recipe, and I'll see you next time.